welcome back to my youtube channel with your boy my graphics if you are new here do well by subscribing and then click on the not notification bell to, to get notified whenever i post any video so in today's video i will teach you how to design um a pizza uh, a pizza flyer let's just say a restaurant pizza food, a food flyer with pizza lab so let's get started so um firstly i will delete this i'm going to delete this uh, and then i'll come to my import here i'll come to my to this folder here so i'm going to drop all the um all the background and font i use in this video i did i did, I did the description box so you can download it and, and and use it for your own so then um i'll import this so sorry guys for the stammering i'm a stammer I'm sorry for the stammering i don't have choice so um i'll increase the size to this then i'll come to my crop to crop it's just like just like this so click on ok then come to my position to then take it back have you seen then i'll also come to my import back again and then i'll import this uh background here this one i think okay then i'm going to increase the size to 100 then i'll see with the uh this is why I like to lock in my work. So I've actually locked the first background here. So let me just scale this down and then um, click on to back. Click on to back, then I'll bring it down here. Just here. Then I will also lock it. So I like locking my work. So it won't disturb me. So then um I want to just create a, a, a simple logo for this flyer. So let me just come to the shape here. Choose cycle color here. Then, okay, um, because of less stress, let me come to the shape here. Choose cycle color here. Then give it um, color red or stuff like this color here. Let me give it this color here. Oh, it is not working, but let me just come to this place and give it and give it a color. To the color. Yeah, so I've, give, I've already given it the color. Then let me reduce the size a little bit, just like this. Then I'll center it. Then I'll come to my um, test here. So just to create a something like a simple logo for the flyer design. Then click on B. Done. Okay. So I'll change the color to color black. Then come to my uh, font. So let me just um, use this heavy font here, Futura Extra Black. So then come to my size, increase the size to this, centralize it just like this. Then I think I'll change the color to color white here. Then come to my layers then. Click on this first, then merge it to the both of them together, just like this. Then I'll come to erase color, erase color, not this, sorry, to erase color. Click on enable, click on this, and then I'll just click on the red color to mark it. No, 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 that's a mistake. Let me do it again. Click on erase color, click on this. So I'm going to click on. Um, on the white color so nothing is picking let me just do it again um i don't know why let me just try Okay, so um, I think the uh, the erase color to have a problem. So let me just let me go back and so I've so I've already go back like go back. And I want to uh, merge it together again. Let me merge it together again, just like just like this. Then I'll come back to the uh, erase color. So I don't know why. You can see it already work now. 
I don't know why it's not working before. So I, I have to go back again. You can see it is working now. So you can see before um, it has a white background before. So I, I don't need the white, the B to be in white. So I have to just um, move the the B just like this. I don't. And the first time I did it is not working. So you can see. Sometimes pixel work like this. Sometimes so you just have to go back and do it again. So then um, I change the color to, to this color. So if you want to get this color here, um, this is what you um, you type. Come click on this plus here. Click on this pen. Then type one one two seven fifteen. You can type this three number here. Is you can you can edit it is is editable just like this um okay you can edit it just like this so that is just it and or if you don't want to type this true number here you can actually type this number seven zero zero seven two f it's going to give you the color i bought this is going to be the same color then um come to our size then you use it just like um this so um so i have this here then i'll come to my test here edit delete this then i'll type um bright food capital letter then um, first of all I will change the font to Montserrat semi board so I want to start for the font Montserrat semi board then I will change the color to color black so I need the color in color black so I'll bring it here then come to the reduce and you use it just like I think 20 is okay so then I'll come to line spacing here so I'll just space it like this you know this line spacing is, is for closing the, um, the, the gap so just know this so we have this here bright food so the next step now is um I'll, I'll copy this test from here copy it like this click on edit delete and then i'm going to type special done capital letter so um let me centralize it from here like this then the font i'm using for this is called lemon lemon store um, i think it's lemon gold italic lemon gold italic so don't worry about the background and fonts i'm going to drop everything at the description box so you can download it and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thanks for watching so um i'll increase the size like this just like um just to like this so I change the color to the, this for this color one. Then come to my line position to like this. So are you seeing? Um, I'll do it like this. Then I'll I'll actually copy this and then click on. Um, if if I don't want to click on edit here, I can just double tap on it, just like this. But the, I like clicking on edit because sometimes if the test is small it's going to scatter it so i think you understand that if you are working with this lab very well click on done then capital letter so i think the pizza have to be big or this i want to i can actually make it the same size to be in the same um, uh, something like this so i think this is also okay then let me just centralize it like this then uh my position then i'll do it like this so i think um this is okay 
for now. So what, what I want to work on the uh, on the on this background here. I want to work on it. Now this is what I'm talking about docking your work. So I have to lock the both of them here, but it's disturbing me. So I'll click on this background here. Then I want to work on it. I'll increase it again just like this. I want, to, I want the leaf to be under the under the stuff like this. I want the leaf to be under the stuff like this. So um and I'll come here then lock it back. Because if I if I don't lock it back, it's still coming back to disturb me. Um so now the next step now is I want to copy this pizza here. This pizza here. I'll click on this pizza here. Then I'll click on copy. So then I'll change the color to color white right now. Color white. Then come to stroke. Give me the stroke. Um, I can actually give it this this color of the stroke. Then the stroke will be in six, I think. Then I'll copy it copy it like this then i'll take this you can see this one here i'll take it inside so it will not show just like this then i'll come to my layers then click on this match to then i'll merge it everything together so then i'll come to my erase color then click on erase color so i have this so i'll, I'll, I'll just give it a tolerance like tolerance of 12 then i'll bring it to this place here so let me just um sorry i don't need this let me just reduce the size a little then um come to the opacity here to reduce the opacity because i don't really need much i just want to use it to fill that space there um so come to my position to bring it down Like this, so I will also lock it because of disturbance. So then I think it's too, it's coming outside too much. I'm just use it to nine, um, seven is okay. I, I, I don't really need it much like that. So now I'll come to my imports, come to my imports from here. Then I will import. Um, I think it's from my download. Come to my download here. I will import this pizza image. Then you check the size. I will increase the size to 80, 85, like this. Um, I think 85 is too much. 83. Just like. Um, so I'm trying to reduce the size to make it fit. I think it's in um, 75 now. It's in 75 now. Mm, so I think um, maybe we should just make it be in 76. Then I'll come to my uh, position let position then centralize it like this so i will also lock it like this so come to my shape here cycle shape then i'll just um, bend it down like this so um the opacity there i will use the opacity there like this then i'll come to the stroke width and then increase the size of the stroke width then um click on blur just increase it to 25 so I think the black is too dark, so let me just reduce it to this, um, to a light, to a light, um, like a light black color. So to get this color, you can just um, type 32, 32, 32, you are going to get it. So then I will click on mark, now bring it here, just like this. Okay. So before I think um 
I had to bring this down. So I was wondering, like, where is the mistake from? So I have to bring this down. Yes. So uh, forget to bring this um, this table. I don't know what should I call it. So that is well. So because uh, normally this um, this um, pizza image is supposed to be big more than this. So let me just increase it to to my normal size that I want to give you before to so 85. So let's decide that I want to bring it to before. Centralize it. Then let me lock it back. So I'll bring this one here. Then um I'll bring this below um the pizza. Just the shadow for the pizza. Just like uh, let me just bring it down here. Then, um, for the shadow, let me just try to. Okay, I don't. I, I think we don't need any opacity, but um, and this is just more. Then yeah, let me also lock it. So, uh, we are almost done with this. We are almost done with this. Uh, let me just come to my import and import some important background like this one here. So increase the size to 100 then i'll bring it here to this side so let me try and reduce the size a little bit so i think this is okay then So I'll bring it here. Um, I'm still trying to, to figure out the arrangement. Like I'm looking at the way I, 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 I arrange it to make it look look good. So I'll bring it back. So in design, you have to just um cool down and then to get a good work you don't have to rush so please watch the video to the end because um so i'm still trying to figure what figure this place out so let me just increase it a little bit to uh, 85 and then i'll bring it here So I think uh, still have to increase it. Um, if the six is okay, so let me just manage this is because um because this is a video video tutorial. Uh, if YouTube video tutorial. And, you don't need to make it long like a Netflix movie. So um because I know if the video is too long, many people will not watch. So uh This, this is okay here yeah. this is okay here yeah. so i think is the pizza image pizza is the pizza i'm going to increase the size of the pizza the size of the pizza i'm going to um, increase the size of the pizza to to make it fit what i want like the way i plan it because the work is not going the way i plan it so to make it uh, Good way I plan it. I have to just uh, increase the size. Then, uh, so um, I think the pizza image is kind of 
let me, let me leave it like this then i'll come to my um eraser to erase all this um let me check Main one this and this so let's check so we have this and then i will also lock it so now i want to import two images together i think i made a, a video maybe last week or last week on how to import more than one image on pizza lab so you, you can go watch it or let me just do it here now let me do it here also the beginner so let me if, if, if i want to import more than no on pizza lab you can only um people don't know that you can import more than two images on pizza lab so this is how to do it as okay now i need two images so i'll just double tap on it one two i'll double tap on the image button then the image i want to import is, is from um this folder here plcc folder this is the first one so it it, it, it will bring me back here then i'll come to the plcc again and then look for the second um the second background i want to import i think this is it so i'll select the first one and select the second one so i'll bring this one here let's start with this i will reduce the size to this then come to rotate and then i will rotate it like this and i'll bring this down here I'll bring it down here so I'm still going to reduce the size it's too big um 16 is okay then I'm talking to my rotate here then let me lock it from this place so um after locking it, I'll work on this. Well, this one here, let me just use my hand to to save time. I don't want to go to to go to the stress of uh, rotating stuff, all this stuff like that. So I'll bring this one here. I think here. So I, I don't need to shoot too much, just small. So then, um. Uh, let me just do the niche full then for this one here now i'm just going to drag it down a little bit then for the radius to 100 so i'll change the color to this color then i'll bring it down here i will use the size very well then i'll bring it down copy this here and then click on edit then I'll type um let me just type shop now done then uh, I'll bring it down here and then change the color to color white I think that's the color that we show on this. So come to my position to let me just try and use my initiative to centralize it. Just like this. Then um I also copy it again like this. Then come to my edit. Then come to my edit, then delete this, then I also type ww i think let me just post it to type it so after typing it here i'll bring it to this place here so the reason i post it is because of the time is it's not waiting for me it's just going so i will reduce the size so maybe uh, maybe 16 and i'll give you the shadow because I think white white is not showing on that texture, so let me just reduce the shadow to 85. Then um, so I'll bring it down here. 
so um now i still want to work on this let me just uh bring it down a little bit um, just like this and then for the for this one here let me take it up so um now for the for this i'll come to the layer and then click on this background here for this uh table background then i'll come to my color filter so the i'll come to my brightness and just um, use the brightness to uh minus 30 i want to reduce the bright brightness to minus 30 so and then the contrast to 30 the contrast to 30 so the saturation to, to two just two so just like this i want to work you can see it's different from the former one so if i like if i like i can also i can also work on the pizza image just, let me just try um just try some stuff with this brightness tree and then contrast contrast is going to be in it and then saturation to cool this down uh to cool this down it's going to be in minus six, minus minus nine okay it's, it's still shining let me just cool it down to minus 17 so this is how to work on it so then um last but not the least is um the the light effect background so i think this video is going to be in two two this this for the design and i'll still do the one for the color grading um this is the light effect i'll still do the one, the one for the color grading so i'll just uh, increase the size of this and i'll bring it down here so i'll click on to back click on to back where is it to back then come to my layers here and then come to the last place so i'll bring it on on top of this so i think we have it here so i will reduce the opacity a little bit a little to 84 then i'll copy it then i'll reduce the size a little then i'll bring it up here just small i don't need to shoot too much just small copy it again let me try something i want to try something if you like you can just bring it here but i think this one i'll do it on the color grading stuff just yeah um is it making sense let me check i don't like it i'll delete it i mean i don't like it so um so now we are done with the um design we are done with the design let me check so boom we have this so thank you for watching guys kindly subscribe share this video comment I, I like to see your comments comment let me know your feedback on this video like share comment subscribe thank you for to see my next video bye